Serena Kaplan's was five months pregnant with her daughter Amelia when California experienced its deadliest bushfire in 2018. It was really bad um, air conditions, so we actually couldn't leave the house for a good two or three days straight um, without feeling sick. Just put one swab at a time. The Kaplans are now part of a study examining how bushfire smoke affects unborn babies and their mothers. I hope that if there is any, any long-term effects that we'll understand what they are. The blaze blanketed much of America's west coast in toxic fumes for two weeks, exposing residents to pollutants like carbon monoxide and unsafe levels of fine particulate matter known as PM2.5. Brain development can and behavioural outcomes can be affected by like long, chronic air pollution, like traffic related air pollution, and we don't know yet whether that's true with wildfire smoke. While that research will take years, <coughs> these monkeys are already providing some clues. Yeah, all of the animals that were living out here were exposed. Lisa Miller has spent the past decade studying how the monkeys have fared after fires north of Sacramento in 2008. They were less than three months old. What our findings suggest is that this early life exposure to an acute smoke event from wildfires results in a long-term perturbation of the immune system as well as the respiratory tract. Put simply, they've developed lungs with 20% less capacity than healthy monkeys. They've showed early signs of the life-threatening condition, pulmonary fibrosis, and most troubling, it could all be passed on to their offspring. It might be difficult to comprehend, but these monkeys are a lot more like humans than you'd think. Genetically, they're our closest relative, meaning they provide a valuable insight into what people can expect in the future. The only caveat, they were housed outside and exposed to the smoke 24 hours, seven days a week. How to reduce the risk? The experts say, evacuate if you can. The Kaplans are just glad to find out now what to do when the next bushfire season hits. Catherine Dis, ABC News, Davis, California.